Good morning, everyone. Let me adjust my camera here. There we go. Uh, good morning. It is Monday morning. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm on my way to work. I think this is the first time since I've become an assistant manager that I actually get a drive to work. I believe it's my first time. Don't quote me on that because I'm not exactly sure, but I think it is. I think that is the truth. Uh, so yeah, um, interesting night, interesting day yesterday. Uh, as I mentioned uh, yesterday, that. Uh, church yesterday and then uh, Eliza had uh, once sold her Girl Scout cookies at the neighborhood market there in Yukon. So and then uh, we did uh, we watched Elimination Chamber and I'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a good day yesterday. Uh, so, but to Elimination Chamber, um, there's only two matches inside the Elimination Chamber. It was the uh, ladies tag team uh, titles. That match had uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey versus the Riot Squad versus uh, Mandy Rose and uh, cannot remember her partners, her tag partners now. best matches I've seen inside the chamber, but it was a good match. They they told a story. Um, they did real good. It was really good. Uh, so after that, it was uh, Shane McMahon and The Miz versus The Usos uh, for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Good match, a little bit of tag. You know, they're, they're, the Usos had the tag advantage being tag, uh, being, uh, tag team way longer than this. And Shane, but in the long run, uh, surprisingly, the Usos won. Uh, I don't know if that's the end for Mez and Shane as being a tag. We'll see, who knows. Uh, then he had Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush versus uh, Ben Beller and the Intercontinental Championship was on the line and if Ben Ben Beller could either pin or submit either or Bobby Lashley or Leo Rush and become the new I didn't really pay much attention to the match, so I can't say much about it. But uh, Van Balor did wind up pinning Leo Rush. Uh, kind of wish I'd let Balor bring back the demon for certain matches or big marquee matchups. I think that would be, I mean, that's what he was known for uh, over in Japan and also in the Indies. You know, 
let him, you know, let him do what he's known for. That's just my opinion. Um, next, it was Baron Corbin versus Ron Strowman. Uh, non the There's a non disqualification match. Uh, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley come, came out towards the end. All three attacked. Uh, Ron hit them. Uh, they set up two tables and uh, took the steps in. And then they hit the three man powerbomb on Ron Strowman through both tables. Then we get the men's. Oh, can't forget. Uh, ladies, the. Raw Women's Championship had Ruby Riot going against uh, Ronda Rousey. Um, it was a filler match. It was a match to be like, hey, we need to get set, we need time to set up for this. Uh, let's kind of extend this storyline between uh, Ronda and Charlotte and Becky. Um, that's basically what the match was. It, it wasn't really a scientific match to say, but also at the same time, it wasn't just a squash job. So, so it, it was an, an all right match. Then you wound up having the uh, men's elimination chamber, which was for the SmackDown title, which was. Daniel Bryant, Samoa Joe, Jeff Hardy, uh, Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston. I know there's one out there. Okay, hold on, let me, let me read this. Anyways, Daniel Bryan went, winds up winning the, uh, the match. Kofi did a wonderful job uh, in there. Uh, proved he does belong in that title hunt for the... He does... He proved that he belongs in the hunt for the title, for that heavyweight title. Uh, I hope he really gets the push that he deserves. He's held... U.S. title, the Intercontinental title, the Tag Team titles. You know, he has proven himself as a workhorse uh, in the WWE, just holding the Intercontinental and the United States title. Uh, <clears throat> so, I honestly would like to see what he could do with holding the uh, heavyweight title. So, so that's the wrap up on Elimination Chamber. But I am going to leave you with these, with this stuff though. Uh, Shane is still selling the $750 gift card to Bass Pro Shop. Uh, they're $10 for ticket, and then there's like two for something, three for something, four for something. Uh, hit me up, I'll let you know what it is, or you can look at the past vlogs. And see what they are and I do have PayPal and we can get that taken care of so that way you can get your chance to win a 700 dollar gift card to Bass Pro. Secondly, Dollar still has the Girl Scout cookies. We've got a lot of these, not just the thin mints, but all of them. They're uh they're four dollars a box or five dollars a box for the Toffee Tastic, which is a gluten-free cookie or the s'mores uh, <clears throat> other than that all the others are four dollars uh, if you want to get in on that action there's a digital cookie that I can send you or set up so that way you can order your cookies straight from Eliza and also you got to pay the shipping and handling because hey those are girls at the warehouse need to be paid a little bit themselves so with all those being said, I do appreciate you, and I really do appreciate you guys watching this, taking time out your day to do all this. 
I hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Later.